Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Storage Drawers mod for Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting storage drawers, even showing you kind of how they work in game because it's pretty cool. So we're going to be going over all of that. But nevertheless, first we do have a our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So you go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to install storage drawers on your server and uh, play with your friends. It's awesome stuff. So nevertheless, let's go ahead though and jump right on in to getting this mod. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is our official download page for storage drawers and once you're here, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down. Now you can't see what this mod does, right? So you can have all these different drawers and ways to store things, even different furnace setups and stuff. So pretty cool and an awesome mod, or not furnace, sorry, these are just stone drawers, right? So you got stone drawers, you got wooden drawers, and you got all that. So pretty cool stuff and uh, just a really simple mod. But what you can see here is a full-size drawer can store eight stacks um, per drawer, like a two-by-two two drawer. A full-size one-by-one drawer can store 32 stacks per drawer. So that's in one block instead of two, which would be required for a chest. So awesome stuff, a really, really cool mod. Can really make for some cool-looking builds, right? I mean, look at this build. Look how awesome that looks using this mod. So nevertheless, once you're on this page, though, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, and then you'll have a Minecraft 1.15 section. Then under that, you will have storage drawers. Click on that purple download button to the right of storage drawers. Then it will take us off where after a few seconds, the download will automatically begin in the bottom left. Boom, there it is. We want to keep this file. It's 100% safe to keep as long as storage drawers is in the title. It is for us, so we can go ahead and click keep. Now, if you're almost still Firefox, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen and ask you to save the file. That is something that you do want to do. So go ahead and click save in the center of your screen as long as it says storage drawers in the title. Now, we're not done just yet downloading, but we aren't done just yet downloading. There we go. I got it out. What we want to do now is download Forge. You can go to the second link, or third link, excuse me, third link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in depth tutorial for downloading and installing Forge in Minecraft. It goes over every single step of getting Forge and everything you need to know. However, we're going to be going over most of it in this video. Just if you have any issues, come back to this tutorial and it will help you out. Now what you want to do is click on the green download Forge button here. When you click on that, it's going to take you off to Forge's official website where you want to find the Minecraft 1.15 version. So go ahead and click on MC or Minecraft 1.15 there and then click on 1.15.2. It should say MC 1.15.2 right there. If it does, come under download latest and click on the installer button. When you click on that, it's going to take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Not a thing. Don't click a single thing on this page. All you want to do is wait six seconds. No, your download's not ready. It is lying to you. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, it's going to download Forge in the bottom left. Now, you will need to keep the file, and it's 100% safe to keep as long as it says Forge in the title. Ours does, so we can go ahead and click keep. If yours doesn't say Forge in the title, just discard it. Don't save the file and click the red skip button in the top right to download. Forge. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing, save the file. You will need, you're safe to save it as long as it has Forge in the title. Now at this point, if we minimize our browser here, we have storage drawers and Forge on our desktop. Now, these might not be on your desktop, and if they aren't, no worries, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. And to find that, click on the little windows icons in the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, and click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so, if I can type it correctly. There we go, downloads. And you'll have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you will find storage drawers and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and start off by actually installing Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have that, you should at least have Java. And if you don't have that, well then what do you do? Well, no worries. All you need to do is go to the uh, link in the description down below, our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, mods, etc. We've helped over a million people get Java for Minecraft and get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. So come here, go through this simple three-step tutorial, and then you should be able to open Forge. But if you can't, no worries, we still have the jar fix. And if for whatever reason your jar files right, that you downloaded don't look like the ones I have, they don't have coffee cups or the Java logo, they instead look like books or a Minecraft file or something like that. Well, if that's the case, run the jar fix and that will fix that. It's going to make all the jar files in your computer work with Java once again. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. We can go ahead and finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That'll then open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we want to go ahead and click on install client and click OK. It'll then download, do some things, set some things up, and then eventually we will see done, complete, success, it is installed. So yeah, that's kind of what we're waiting on. Now it might say that it's done here and that the green bar is all the way up, but it's going to keep going. That's fine. I don't know why Forge does that, but it does. And then as you can see, successfully installed client profile Forge version 1.15.2. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK there. That'll close out of that, and now we can get storage drawers installed. 
To do that, what we want to do is open up Minecraft. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, before you go slamming that play button, we need to select the Forge version of Minecraft. To do that, click on the little arrow, the down arrow to the left of the play button, and then click on Forge right there. Once you have that, click Play. But if you don't have that, no worries. Click on Installations here, and then go ahead and create Plus New. So click Plus New there, and then it's going to create a new installation. You can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have two grief protected survival servers. One medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy. The other is aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy. It allows for more redstone and things on aquatic survival as well. And on top of that, it has MCMMO and jobs. Lastly, we do have Skyblock, which has custom islands, OP enchants, and just a ton of fun. And then, of course, we do have factions coming very, very soon. It's not out quite yet, so no many details, but it's coming very, very soon and is an active development. We're so excited for it, but that's all I can say. Nevertheless, click on the drop down box here under version. What you want to do is find release 1.15.2 forge. So there it is, release 1.15.2 forge. Click on that. I'm going to change my resolution and then click create in the bottom right. Now, down here at the bottom, we have play.breakdowncraft.com. It'll say 1.15.2 forge under it, and then we can go ahead and click play. Once we click play, we will go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge. And you might be like, what are we opening up Minecraft with Forge? I thought we were trying to install storage drawers. Well, we are, but you need to open up Minecraft in order to install storage drawers, right? You need to open up specifically Forge with Minecraft to get this mod installed. So. It's going to take it a few seconds, but eventually we will land on the Minecraft main menu. You might see up here at the top, for example, it's opened up. We need to click on that to get it to officially open up. And here we are with the main menu loading. We can see that Forge is, in fact, installed in the bottom left, and we have this Mods tab here. We actually want to click on that Mods tab, and then in the bottom left down here, you'll have an Open Mods folder button. Click on that, and, well, that's going to open up your Mods folder here. Now, all you need to do is take storage drawers from your desktop and drag it into the Mods folder. Boom, right like so, we're good to go. So now storage drawers has been dragged from your desktop into your mods folder. Now if you come back to Minecraft, it's not gonna be here and it's never gonna show up unless you restart Minecraft. So let's go ahead and X out of Minecraft here. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again, except this time we don't have to go through creating that profile. The profile we created is there or you had the Forge profile and we're able to click play. So we've got play.breakdowncraft.com right there, 1.15.2 forge. And then we can click the green play button. When you do that, it will go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.2 with storage drawers installed. As you can see, there it is. Storage drawers has completed the deep scan. They found it. The mod is there. Now all we have to do is wait for Minecraft to open up with it. Pretty cool stuff. An awesome process now that Forge is, uh, you know, getting things done and just opening up Minecraft and bada bing bada boom. When we're on the main menu, we'll be able to click on the Mods tab, and there it is, Storage Drawers. Now, we aren't done just yet. We still need to jump right on in here and check this out in-game. What is what is a, a mod video like this if we're not checking it out in-game at all? So, once we're in here, we were doing Auto Fish. So, uh, it's a lot less boring, this mod. Anyway, let's go ahead and clear our inventory of all of this stuff. And, boom. We'll go ahead and set up, I suppose, right in this area, right here and kind of get storage wars rocking and rolling. You might be wondering why I'm clearing these trees. It has no effect for the video specifically, other than the fact when I take my thumbnail image, it'll make things a lot easier. All right, getting a little lag there. That's not you, it's me, it's where I'm recording. Let's turn down our render distance a bit. Yeah, that can do it. Let's turn that down, let's turn that down, and just do, we'll keep fancy graphics, but turn our smooth lighting on minimum. There we go, boom. Yeah, that's a lot smoother. So we click the here because we're in creative. We do have storage drawers and all this stuff. And if we go ahead and get some storage drawers, let's say we'll grab the 2x2 two two oak drawer. We'll grab the 1x2 oak drawer. Even the 1x1 one one half drawer. And then I do like these like compacting stone drawers because they look cool. Now this can be combined with other mods. Let's say Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, for example. And that can really make some awesome looking builds with this mod. But we don't have that installed right now. We just have storage drawers. So we're going to do our best. So I'm thinking something like that maybe. Ooh, I don't like that actually. I don't like that at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and delete those. Um, we'll do these as our base. And then maybe over here to the side have some of these compacting drawers. Put that in the center for texture. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, when you left click on them, it adds an item. When you right click, it removes it. So adds both of those there. Right click and it's gonna remove one at a time. You can shift click, I believe, and remove all of them. Yep, so if you shift click, it'll remove all the items. So pretty cool stuff there, pretty simple. And uh, you'll easily know what the items are by what's on the front of them. You shouldn't break them like that though. That's, a, that's probably a no, no. So yeah, go ahead and left click on those and that adds them. Now let's go ahead and build up. Right like so, now as you can see, 
a little bit of glitching there. Um, this is still in beta, this mod, so forgive any glitching that there is. It is just a part of the mod process, uh, you know, and as they're working on mods and getting everything fixed, it's just kind of part of it, so yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I don't like those there, I don't think. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so there you have it. That is storage drawers. We can get a bunch of random items now if we want and put them into these drawers. Boom, boom. I don't want them all to be filled with like, you know, the same stuff. So let's go ahead and add that there. We can throw that there, put that there, that there. Put all of our storage stuff right there. That can go there, that can go there. And you're starting to see the you know thing. It's very, very easy to see all these. Basically, little item frames in the front of all this. Just scroll through here and grab some blocks real quick. Maybe grab some of the meats there. Put all of those. And like here, we can put meat there, meat there. Boom and boom. And then, I don't know, maybe that can go there. And yeah, that's kind of that. The storage drawers for you. Pretty cool mod. I'll probably mess with this a little more after the video to make it look good for the thumbnail. But thank you all so, so much for watching. The mod's installed. I don't think there's any denying that. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And I am out. Peace.